prophecy is definitely fulfilling itself. That's for sure. I'm about 99% sure that we would cease to exist. How much longer? If Jonah wasn't here. Almost there. I'm sorry I lost the box. It it's happens. It's not your fault. It's. It's Dominguez. It's a Trinity. All the way back, as far as I can remember, it's always been them. I could have had a family. Everything could have been different. We will get the box, and we will stop Dominguez. Your Highness. Lara. Where, where's the box? <laughs> Amaru has it. Okay, Joffrey, simmer down. But the death of the sun draws near. We'll get it back before he completes the ritual. This will not be easy. We'll have to adjust the plan. Please, take your time to prepare yourself. We'll gather intelligence and fighters. Thank you. I'll stay here and lend Uchu a hand. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Well, Kabetim Beti Guabash, Bali. I freed your friends, and there's more good news. Kolkwi is alive. He was in the lead when the others were surrounded. He shouted a warning and ran away. There is one concern. You may have a traitor in the rebellion. Pissed. Alright. I'll find him. New gear. These ancient wolf leather greaves were worn by the great warrior Chakma during Petit. I can't even. Wale kapelich uyohel yo la le actuno kolkeich sakbenzil ya no kustal. Okay, so a couple of times previously. We would be trying to do a side mission to help these guys. But then, we would get caught up in something else and not be able to do it. Um, I suppose we could always jump back to do them, but they kind of feel better when you do them in the moment. Oh, Hey, Laura, oh, here, nice. Do you have a minute? Yeah, I do. Come over if you have time. Uchu has something to ask you. What's up, Uchu? Uchu and I were talking, and, well... Uchu, what's on your mind? The day of Etsli's coronation is approaching. Soon, he will be a man and take the first steps towards becoming Paititi's future king. Oh, that sounds like a day to look forward to. It's the hope for that day that keeps a lot of us fighting Amaru and his cult. Sometimes we all need to remember what we're fighting for. Is there something I can help you with? When Esli's father, Sairi, died, Unaratu bestowed the honor of surrogate father unto me. One of my duties is to gather three sacred items for the ceremony, but... But with all that's happening right now, you aren't able to. What are these items? They are the Savior's amulet, the champion's bow, and the king's horn. Each a blessing from the ancestors of the future king. 
Tell me what you need, and I'll see what I can do. I already have men retrieving the amulet and bow, but if you could find Kabil, the instrument maker, and get the king's horn from him, he would be doing us a great favor. He's been difficult. I sent two men and both have failed. Perhaps you could talk to his wife. I think I can manage that. Be mindful. Kabil can be prickly sometimes, but Abra, his wife, has a way of dulling his edges. Interesting. Okay. So, let's see. That's, like, right outside. Oh, what's this now? Okay, that's Kabil. But then we had this person back here that we were looking for. Hearts and minds. Save Kolki. Let's do this. I can't believe how much Etsli has grown in such a short time. He's going to make a great king. Okay, how many skills do we have? Nine! <laughs> we go so long between uh, rest sites sometimes. Okay, let's see. What do we what do we really need? Poison grenades. Lure traps on enemy corpses, maybe. Focus plants to improve reaction responses and slow down time when aiming. I don't know if we need that. Reduce damage and falling from heights, sure. Fear arrow lasts for a longer period of time. That's cool. Maybe they kill a couple people. Endurance mixture reduces damage from enemy melee and ranged. Loose arrow simultaneously at three locked targets. Yep, let's do it. That zoom thing, we, we haven't had an opportunity to use it, really. Uh, we've come up against a lot of, like, armored targets, so... Let's do this as well. And I guess we're good. Now, what was the other thing? So this is the bow that we picked up. This is the one that I think we bought, if I'm not mistaken. If I go into here, we could almost finish everything on it. But this one that we recently got is really strong. It just needs some damage upgrades. Because these are already way up there. It's tough. Do we want to fire faster or do we want more damage? I think if we're using the bow, we're going for kills anyway. So, you could probably just save that. The Vicar Mark II looks pretty good in comparison. Let's throw that one on. We'll finish out a couple of upgrades here. Just a little short. Shotgun wise, let's go for it. Okay. Now, the Chamaka Greaves, so, oh, bonus XP from non-stealth kills. Well, as appealing as that sounds, the ones that we get from stealth kills has been working out pretty good, so I don't know if it makes sense to change there. But what I'm looking for is this. We're going to head down in this area, I think. We'll try and help this guy. Okay. Looks like we want to be in here, so... Oh, maybe it's above. That could be. Yeah, we have to get through here somehow. Let's see, is this taking us way off track? Kind of. Hmm. Okay, how am I gonna, how am I gonna get in here? Maybe we access it through like 
this waterway or something? Is that crazy? That might be the case. I mean, it's falling with style. Hand radio. What? Someone's taking this old walkie talkie apart. Were they making an attempt at reverse engineering, I wonder? Based on the technology that they have, I'm wondering if they'd be like, well, we have no clue. Oh! Found it! That's cool. Okay. Took a little while, but probably worth it. We'll just hold on to that point. Not much we can upgrade. With just one right now. Each Taka of the cult of Kukul Khan vows to tie his coat to that of you two, descendant of the Maya. Lacking any family of his own, each Taka will live with the parents of you two until such time that they have built their own home and hearth. You two vows to tie her coat to that of each Taka. She will bear him many children, which they will raise according to the traditions of both their peoples. Oh yeah, there won't be any issues there. No. Should probably see a merchant at some point as well. Whoa! Oh, damn it. I can't use, like, any of these other weapons. Ah, uh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is going to be rough. Uh oh. Heal. That's really hard to do. That is really hard to do on the run. Probably not what it's designed for. Behind me. <laughs> what is there more? Right after I said we don't need the damage too. We get ambushed and for whatever reason can't use our 
other weapons. Make arrows, make arrows. Oh boy. Oh boy, we're dead, I think. Wow. You don't think this is proving my worth right now? Wow. I came close a couple of times, actually. All they've done for us is make us rich. Okay, so then we have to head back, don't we? Hmm. That was something. Oh, you know what? It looks like if we look on the map, we've got this little section off to the left that's in addition to the main room. And I wonder... <laughs> Looks like there's something back there, too. You see how there's something back here? Maybe that's just where, like, enemies were coming out or something? Whoa, what? There's definitely something up there. It's the same on that side, too, but we don't see it, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's nothing, but... Go ahead and assume that it isn't anything important. I don't think we've had something like that where we've had to fight so many enemies with only the bow. But there must be something up, yeah, up there. You can see it. Okay. I think what we'll start doing is reveal traps using survival instincts. Sure, let's do that. You see the yellow markings? Epidemic? We leave the city at fast light. Which is just as well, for a terrible disease has spread across it. Dead and dying line the paths and choke the streams. 
Many are saying it is punishment from the gods. Journal of Adelantado Perez. Okay. Hmm. How does one get up there? There we go. Okay, so that's revealing all the stuff. It's good. Twenty fourth of November, sixteen oh three. I accompanied Andreas Lopez, a group of twelve soldiers and two molosses through the jungle. The directions the Jesuits provided to Trinity were excellent, so we discovered the hidden city with little difficulty. The natives of the city welcomed us warily but we plied them with gifts, and they reluctantly allowed us to enter the city, unaware of our true intentions. Lopez has begun to search for the artifact while we distract the city's leaders. Hmm. Am I to believe that... Oh, hold on a second. I don't think we're jumping down at all, are we? That's the exit. Cool. Okay, so it looks like we're going to need to swing. Grab that left ledge, maybe? Yeah, I don't know, actually. Oh, just. That must be the temple I saw from the riverbanks. What? Man, <laughs> sometimes it's like you're just making your best guess. Ah, here we go. Okay. for that. And we're finally in. How do we... Oh, here we go. The Temple of the Sun. Okay. I must have arrived at the right time. It looks like the cultists were just here. Do we have any of the, um, poison made? No. <clears throat> I'm thinking down. <clears throat> the way to our back left seems like that was the wall that we looked at previously.
It's all about climbing under doors in this area. <laughs> it's bizarre. Whoa, Amazing. this is... What? This must be where they perform rituals honoring the sun. Okay, so the sun comes in from here and then... Wait, what? So it's hitting that green thing. Which in turn moves the light up top. I don't know if I can grab that. Oh, hold on. There we go, okay. I won't last long if I fall in the water. Yep, I'm picking up on that vibe as well. Can't make it across. I'll have to backtrack. So what this means is that Okay. We're going to have to get all of these set up before... Looks like we're trying to get over to that side, right? Okay. Now, usually, she's not supposed to give us advice in these scenarios. It's interesting that she's chatty. So that one has another mirror on the side. So if we can try and just link up here. This can hit one that's low. Oh, look at this, okay. So if we put this here, that would keep that one in place. Then that one could get moved to that side. So that means this one's going to need one as well. And this is the same angle. And those change the one that's protruding from the top there. We also have all the way through that side, which is kind of interesting. See where this gets us. Cool. That's great. Uh, we did fantastic there. This reaches the middle. And also... some other stuff. <sighs> we have this as well. Might be the way out. Oh yeah, okay. Makes sense. All these spikes, so I can't grab that. And without the can't make it across, I'll have to backtrack. Yeah. So what we need to do is we need to find a path that is going to allow us to get where we need to go. So I do think that putting this one back to hold the one, well. I think I put this one on the one that was across here. Like that. <laughs> 
And then that'll get us access to move another one if we need to. There's nothing to move in the middle. And you can see that gem at the top of the place we need to be at. Oh, what is... What does being up there do for me? That changes everything. So that needs to be raised up so that we so that we can cross. Oh, we need to use that branch to swing, isn't it? This one doesn't do anything. That can hit that far one. We have to climb this wall. Actually, does this mean that in theory, hold on. No. I'm seeing if there's a way across without using this. Because it seems like as soon as we move this thing, then we can't cross to the other side. Oh, hold on. Maybe I gotta lock this one here. Oh, that sounded positive. And that middle section's completely lowered. I think we're on to it. <laughs> now I don't need this one. We're happy with this platform. Let's see. That sounds nice. That's good. But does being up in the middle of this thing actually do anything for us? Not if I can't get to this. Right? I think we need to figure out how to get this one tilted. Which I think means we switch this one back using this side. 
And then the one across, we go completely diagonal. the middle. This is crazy. I really hope that we figure this out because... The challenge is that you can only be operating one side at a time. It doesn't seem to be a way that you can manipulate all of them at once. And hopefully this one lets us move that middle section so that we can jump across. But we need to be able to get um, both of them turned. Both of those middle sections. And then we would leap from the middle to get that across the water. So we'll see. Okay, so that makes it normal. Oh, yeah, okay. There we go. Now we just have to figure out our way back. We need to figure out how to get back up there. double there. Can I double this? There we go. Yeah, I think we got it. It's tricky because we've usually wanted the light on the one that we're going to. And this one was the opposite. A little curveball. But we got it. Now to find a way out of here. Increase the amount of natural crafting resources gathered from each source. Nice. Well, we already know the way out. Whoa. Quite a bit of backtracking we need to do in this one, but unique, that's for sure. Yeah, we're good. Woohoo! That is crazy, man. All right. It's weird, my swan dive isn't working. Okay. So what we'll do is we will uh, rest here. We'll travel back to that other area. And uh, we'll carry on from there. Okay, cool. Wish me luck, guys. Hopefully that wasn't too excruciating for you. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Bye.